to return to your body. Now you don't have time. Time is relative. Your body hasn't even hit the floor yet. I've spent so many years peering through time, looking at this exact moment, but I can't see past it. I've prevented countless terrible futures, and after each one there's always another, and they all lead here, but never further. You think this is where you die? You wonder what I see in your future? No. Yes? I never saw your future. Only its possibilities. You have such a capacity for goodness. You always excelled, but not because you craved success, but because of your fear of failure. That's what made me a great doctor. It's precisely what kept you from greatness. Arrogance and fear still keep you from learning the simplest and most significant lesson of all. Which is? It's not about you. When you first came to me, you asked me how I was able to heal Jonathan Pangborn. I didn't. He channels dimensional energy directly into his own body. He uses magic to walk. Constantly. He had a choice. To return to his own life, or to serve something greater than himself. So I could have my hands back again. My old life. You could. And the world would be all the lesser for it. I've hated drawing power from the dark dimension. But as you well know, sometimes one must break the rules in order to serve the greater good. Mordo won't see it that way. Mordo's soul is rigid and unmovable, forged by the fires of his youth. He needs your flexibility, just as you need his strength. Only together do you stand a chance of stopping Dormammu. I'm not ready. No one ever is. We don't get to choose our time. Death is what gives life meaning. To know your days are numbered. Your time is short. You'd think after all this time I'd be ready. But look at me. Stretching one moment out into a thousand, just so that I can watch the snow.